Hey everybody, my name is Promise, and welcome to more Hearts of Iron 4, the Great War Redux, playing as the baddies, the French state, the oh-so-superior people. Gimli really wanted up for some reason. I don't know what's up with this boy. Hey, yo! Yes! Oh! oh. Uh, he really wanted up for some reason. He does not seem to like it when I record, but you can't be up here, buddy. I'm sorry, I love you. Anyway... So, we're kind of getting ready for World War I to begin. It should be kind of soon, based on uh, actual history. At the same time, I've got no idea what's gonna happen, given that, you know, we kind of obviously changed history. Uh, Britain decided to go down kind of a slightly communist, socialisty route. Market socialism? Is that not supposed to be very different from just social democracy? I don't freaking know. Anyway, let's just keep going with this, though. We are trying to train up a few more troops in case we end up going to war. I also need to get a lot more equipment. Gimli, I swear to God... Oh, my God. Okay. Up you get. Ugh. We'll see how long this lasts. Answer is going to be not very long. Trying to build up some level of an air force, if at all possible, and I am horribly distracted right now. Gimli, you are adorable, aren't you? Yes, you really are. You are the cutest of boys. Engineering company, fantastic. All right, so a bit more entrenchment for us. Oh, so very importante when it comes to, hello, when it comes to um, World War One and trench warfare. So Franz Ferdinand has been assassinated. There goes the Archduke of Austria-Hungary. Yeah, yeah, Gimli, you okay there? So World War One should be about to begin. Gimli, gosh, dang it, buddy, stop it. Um. We're not going to be able to go to war against Spain until such a time that uh, we have 49% world tension, we can get a claim. So you know what? It doesn't actually make a whole lot of sense to have troops over here after all. As fun as this seemed for a bit, it's no longer a good idea. We should go ahead and move a bunch of troops up here to the borders with Germany and with Italy in preparation for some problems. Switzerland is still not a part of a faction. We have Belgium on our side, but again, I can't do anything to Amsterdam until... So well, I say Amsterdam, the Netherlands. I can't do anything against them until we uh, have 49% world tension. Also, they are guaranteed by the German Empire, so they're not exactly the best target regardless. A little bit of extra reinforce rate is nice. Give me... He's crawling on the desk now. You can't see him because he's just slightly off. Hang on. He's slight... Hello, Gimli. Hello, look at you. Yes, he's slightly off in the camera. Anyway, okay, bud, bud, for real. Off you get. Oh, yeah, you don't like that. And he's back at my lap already. Okay. Okay, anyway, other 1914 techs that we might want. Better planes would be pretty good, right? We already have the upgrade to artillery. I'm probably not going to go down the howitzer route. Don't think I need to worry about any more ships. Could go for the upgrade to our cars. Do these count like armored cars? Is that how it's gonna work? Eh, maybe. I'm not really making much use out of any other companies. I mean, we could go for motorized infantry and a free template. And you know, it's not like motorized wouldn't be pretty good. I mean, do you have a hardness value and stuff? You do, you have a little bit. You could technically go for a motorized meta. Meta, I say, you know, if tanks are a little bit too expensive for you. Um, I'm still gonna say that's not the absolute top priority, though. It would make a lot more sense probably to go for another upgrade to fighters, so we can go for some level of air superiority. Probably not a very good one, because I feel like my industry is nowhere near where I need it to be. Fund the Engineering Corps. We're renovating these forts. We have a European crisis. Here we go. If European alliances do not resolve the outcome, the crisis diplomatically in the coming weeks, then peace will be broken. God help us. So, if Serbia is a subject of Austria-Hungary, uh, or if they're at war... So, we're, Austria is about to send an ultimatum to Serbia. Serbia, who I am currently not guaranteeing, and frankly, have no desire to do so, if I'm completely honest. If Serbia goes to Austria-Hungary, do I care? No. Yeah, I do not. Not even a little bit. But I also might find myself getting some nasty events in a second where I don't have a choice. Unlimited budget means more research for me. Good timing, to be honest. Could go for some upgrades to medium air. What is this? It's a form of close air support and bombers. Logistic strike. That, that does sound pretty good, doesn't it? But we already have logistic strike coming with the close air support I'm working on. Could go for naval bombers. I'll be honest, that does slightly appeal to me. If I can get the factories together for naval bombers, you don't need as much of a naval dominance 
around the main coastlines I'll be fighting over if you got a million freaking naval bombers, am I right? Heck yeah, I'm right. Army of Aggression, planning speed and army uh, organization. I'll be honest, right now if we're about to go to war, that's gonna be pretty good. So I'll take some of that. As far as my logistics, we're making equipment, but we're still not making enough artillery because I'm trading some stuff up. Let's go ahead and get a bit more. I lost a lot of efficiency when I swapped over to the new model, so there's that. And there's the war. All right, Serbia and Montenegro. Dear God, what have we done? I did nothing. Okay, I did nothing, and that, you know, you might even argue that that's entirely the point. I don't know. World tension still only jumps up to 33%. You'd think it would be a little bit higher than that, considering the situation, but okay. So, I mean, if they're just fighting against Italy and Austria-Hungary and not even the Germans, like, do we care? Like, if I'm, if I'm completely honest, do I care? I could invite them to the faction. Like, could we go to war against Italy and Austria-Hungary? Absolutely, but if I do that, it is a certainty that the Central Powers will be called in. And I don't really benefit from this. Unless it turns out that Italy is weak. But they're probably not, based on what I'm seeing here. No, they are way stronger than me. What does Britain have? Oh, Britain might have a fair bit. If Russia was still involved, I would possibly consider bringing them back into the faction. Or uh, I would consider going into war. But it wouldn't be great. Yeah, I don't really see a lot of advantage to this. Why should I? Can't invite to faction. Yeah, but why? Uh, Fort Assault. Well, there's the 100% research time that I, again, just want to point out does absolutely freaking nothing. Supply consumption, max planning. Now, that's pretty helpful. So, we'll go ahead and pick up the next round of Doctrines there. So, I can get some pretty huge planning bonuses. Right, like, if I take these guys and say, hey, we want to push all along the river? You know, we could do that. And you can get a pretty hefty amount of extra stuff. It's not bad. But, is it as good as something like uh, superiority? Probably not. Serbia is asking to join the faction. I don't know. Am I being a coward in this? How many troops do I really have? 67? I've probably got more troops than Italy. Maybe about equivalent. I probably don't have as many troops as Austria, and I definitely don't have as many as Germany. Britain might have more than me, but not by a ton. This just doesn't look like a winning fight to me. Oh, they left the Entente. This definitely isn't a winning fight to me if I can't call in Britain. Frick this! Absolutely not. Frick off, Serbia. You're on your own. <laughs> I ain't doing this. I'm just looking for some good old-fashioned world tension so I can conquer some people. Like Spain. I want to take out the House of Bourbon. Sounds kind of French to me. And as a French superioritist person, I think that maybe I would like to own Spain. That would be nice. I just had a horrible thought. My audio's going, right? Uh, let's take a quick check seat. Yes, it is. Okay. I have to, like, change settings for, like, audio and stuff if I'm doing uh, face cam. It's a little annoying at times, but I do have to do that in order to make sure the gain is high enough to pick me up, because I don't want to be on camera with a mic right up to my face, which is how I normally record, which is a little bit of an obstruction, and it's annoying, but... It's got to be done. It's the best way to get good. Uh, it's the best way to get good audio quality. You know what I mean? We have two thirds control of Congress or Parliament or whatever you want to call it in the French state. That's pretty decent. Hum 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 hum. Entrenchment speed. Yeah, honestly, I think I'll just go ahead and take it on this guy. Why not? If, if these guys are going to be defensive and they're going to be pushing forward, I want them to entrench quickly. The faster they entrench, the more we can stack up some bonuses. So that's an extra R uh, a discipline. No. Discipline's EU4. Organization and planning speed bonus, which stacks up nicely with a lot of the things I've been doing. We could boost up our war support, but that's kind of all we can do there. Conscript the colonies, get a lot of manpower, make Greece happy, make them an ally, maybe... Try to get Ottomans into my side, support Serbia. I really just don't see a benefit to that. Try to make Italy an ally, but if they're already a part of the Central Powers, then what are the odds that they break free of that, right? Pretty non-existent, I would think. What else we got? The revanchevist uh, propaganda, and then French revanchism, which gives me a war goal against the Germans. Uh-huh. Create the SNCF. 
This is only for an industrial concern, though. If I plan on swapping over to that, that could be good, but otherwise, no. Defensive strategies. Now, see, this is good. Cheaper artillery with more breakthrough. Yeah, given that uh, artillery is something that I've been struggling on, making it cheaper means I can go for those upgrades a heck of a lot faster. Speaking of artillery, here's at least a handful more. Where are you guys deployed? Way down here, suffering all of my supply. Okay, uh, let's send you guys up to the Netherlands, and the goal will basically be to crush them nice and quick if we see the opportunity. So we've got the close air support. That's good. Max factories in state? Maybe I want that. Fuel silos, fuel per oil. Maybe we just go for the resource gain efficiency. I mean, it's October 1914. Serbia is somehow still holding. How strong are you? Not strong enough. You're just using the terrain to your advantage and doing a surprisingly good job. But they're really close to getting uh, Biograd. So, like, I, I, I don't feel like you're going to be able to live for very long. Montenegro's out now and has been puppeted immediately. Oh, is that how that works? Okay, so we'll see what happens with them, but it looks to me like they now have an open back door and they're about to push in, so Serbia is very dead. So yeah, no, if I had gone down a historical route, maybe this would have been a good time to start World War One. If Britain had gone down a historical route, maybe I could start World War One. If Russia had stayed in the Entente and not somehow amazingly won their war against the Bolsheviks, I might have considered that too. If the United States was a part of the Entente and hadn't suffered an unexpected civil war, I might have considered it. But so many things have made me believe that it is absolutely the right decision to say, nope, I don't want to do this. I don't want to. The answer is no. I am, by the way, upgrading my railroads down here, hoping to get a lot more supply against Spain, because while I had my troops set up over here, I saw the supply was... Quite bad, uh, is the best way I can say it. It was quite, quite bad. Um, we do want to get at least a bunch more military factories, and if I'm completely honest with you, I think military factories take over for the rest of the game. Civilian factories are good, I wish I had a lot more, but I, I need factories, dude. I, I need lots of military factories, I need lots of equipment so we can start sustaining ourselves and get a pretty large army together. I am making more support equipment than I need at this point, so I'm gonna take a couple factories off of that, swap them over to artillery. New factories need to go to some fighters, and we need to start making those close air support as well. I'll say that's a slightly higher priority for the moment. Balloons aren't actually that good, and then really I wouldn't mind having a fair bit of motorized. If I can get an armored motorized division, um, that would be cheaper and faster than tanks. Now, who is justifying against me? Italy is justifying on me. Well, ain't that fun. Okay, hang on, let me think. Um, first off, a couple extra forts, probably not a bad idea, given that I suspect we're gonna have some problems. Um, I don't have to call Belgium in on a war, so I don't need to build Gimli, for God's sake. I don't need to build up a lot of forts on their border for them. I would like to reinforce just a smidge more on the border of Germany proper. So let's do that as well. But prioritize mostly in Italy. Now, we should be able to build forts fairly quick, so I got some time to respond to this, and just a bit of extra defense is probably enough to be okay. Plus, we just got our defensive strategies, which, by the way, why defensive strategies gets me breakthrough, I don't know, but all right. Motorized army, we could actually make this faster. Yeah, that's a thing. What else do we have here? Armor, infantry weapons, better artillery. Is my war support going down? It seems like it is, but I think that's because world tension technically is going down. Pressure for Romandi. Um, I don't know that this is a good idea, but I might take it anyway for the heck of it. What the heck? Let's see what happens. Now that would be what? Romandi is not a state. I was thinking maybe it was like the Western State, but no, of course not. That's Geneva. Uh, I have no idea what happens with this. Maybe we can get them to join a faction and have an incredibly defensive port? Uh, I don't know. Maybe not. 
Uh, let's go to Motorized and start researching that on the off chance I can make something happen there. I mean, it is almost 1915, but it's still gonna be a little bit. Um, I want to go to all my armies and set them to Motorized for supply, which hopefully helps with this. It looks like it is gonna get my organization back up. Serbia's, again, like, for the love of God, please, France! And I'm like, are you French? Because if you are not Francois, Francais? Fra what am I saying? Francois is a name. Francais? Then you are not superior, and you don't get to join my faction. Ha 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 ha. Because I'm like that now, apparently. Uh, 1915, 1915. What can we do with 1915? We can go for upgrades to our artillery. Let's go ahead and do that. What other options do we have here besides like mortars, anti-tank and stuff? But the tanks aren't even a thing until 1917. And don't get me wrong, tanks are gonna suck. I mean, tanks weren't, were kind of a novelty, I'd say, more in World War I than anything. They weren't exactly good. Oh, I don't know. Um, we have nothing to do with my political power, by the way. I mean, I know I could swap over to extensive conscription, but we don't need to. How's my logistics looking? Struggling on motorized right now because I'm trying to do a lot of logistic work. We're not producing any? That can't be right. We should be producing 4.61 per day. No, we are. It's just lying when it says zero are being produced. That's a bit of a weird choice, but okay. Uh, let's pull back a little bit more on the support equipment, just get an extra factory going somewhere. There's the motorized infantry, so we have a new template available to us. Let's start getting the defense and breakthrough and supply usage reduction. Got a handful more offensive soldiers that we'll be able to send up here toward the Netherlands. But I still don't expect I'm going to be able to do much with them. The thing about... What just happened? So, alright. Italy declared war on me. So it's now a thing. The French state has called in Britain. I'm confused. Because Britain's not an ally. They're not in the Entente, and yet they joined anyway, which now makes me wonder if I could have gone into World War I. Huh. Seems a little bizarre, doesn't it? And still, somehow, we're only at 30% world tension. World tension seems borked. If I'm not completely mistaken. All right, well, we're at war, uh, whether I like it or not. So hang on, let me um, group up these fleets. I need to do a couple things real quick. Let's create a task force of some subs. And these subs, I'm going to split into these groups of 19 each. We need to assign an admiral. Air controller, naval speed, damage, damage defense. Is there anything that makes me harder to detect? Retreat, nothing great. I guess we'll go for speed and damage, though I'm highly scared of this. You guys are going to be doing primarily convoy raiding here, and you guys convoy raid here. You guys, we got a lot of destroyers, some light cruisers, heavy cruisers, battleships. This is an oak, okay, it's huge, it's a huge navy. I'm gonna split you guys again into two. And then I'm gonna have you guys go on strike force in both of those locations. So if we spot their navy, we can pop out there and hopefully crush Italy's navy. Has Germany just been called in? Yup, okay. Well, uh, Serbia, you wanna join? The Great War has officially begun the second that I actually called in Serbia. What do you know? The great powers of Europe have declared war on each other. The world is experiencing the largest crisis in the last 100 years, and one that will topple the old order and bring about a new age of existence. This war is to be known as the Great War Redux, and the war to end all wars, which is not true, as I was very optimistic, it turns out, as this conflict has shattered the concept of Europe, which has kept Europe from fighting a major war since the Napoleonic Wars. Ah, oh, right. You know, centered around France. Hmm. I wasn't really happy with the resolution of said wars. This conflict, decades in the making, the result of decades of political tension between the established great powers and the different goals and ambitions, but no matter, millions of men are now drafted and forced to fight in the absolute horror of the trenches, fathers and sons of every nation dying side by side as brothers. The Great War! Thank you, Winston Churchill. I need more defensive troops. I really do. Um, we need... 
like 12. So we'll do that. Uh, because I want to fill these lines out if possible. So we're at 40% world tension, for God's sake. Why do we not, okay, the music is way too loud. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, why do we not have a lot more than all this? I'm just saying. All right, uh, how many planes I got out of curiosity? 166, man, that's not a lot. That is not a lot at all. But we're gonna go ahead and field whatever I can. All the blimps and stuff. Hi guys. Uh, I would like you to be located down in Yaw and do some strategic bombing and air superiority and stuff over the Alpine region. So ultimately what I'd love to do is knock out Italy first so that I can hold the Alps and look for an opportunity to attack. Now that said, uh, what would be great is if I could do a naval invasion. However, I looked into this earlier and naval invasions are really weak at this stage of the game. So if we take a look down here, I can do two units. I can send two divisions on a naval invasion. Eventually, next year, we can bump that up to five. Yeah, that's a very, very, very weak naval invasion. If the AI is dumb enough to leave their ports open, I can try to send some stuff over here. And that is the best way to knock out Italy. If you can control this and take this out, it's pretty good. But I'm not sure we're there. Who else? Oh, right. Uh, Britain, would you like back in my faction, please? Thank you. Okay, more people called in. Oh, look, 41%. We are at risk of losing to Britain. Wow, hmm, that's exciting. So Britain's just, uh, sorry, Germany is just sort of hanging out. We've had a naval battle. Looks like we're sinking a few convoys. Good job, subs. Oh, I forgot to mention, I did uh, go for some sub templates. I wasn't able to get everything I wanted. What did I do here? I was not able to do destroyers, but I did start making the classic maximum speed, which is not even very fast, uh, cruisers with light attack. I sort of suspect this isn't gonna be good enough though, because I don't think I'm fast enough for this to be good. I sort of wonder at uh, at 40 knots if I can really dodge all of these shots. I also got some subs, which are basically fast with lots of torpedoes. Snorkels aren't even a thing yet. So I'm a little bit hesitant to believe that my Navy's gonna be anywhere close to competent, but mm, oh well. We could go for some upgrades to our um, destroyers though, finally. Where, let's see, early destroyer hull. Uh, is that what this would be? Where's my 1910 variant? Is that what it's called, early destroyer hull? It is, all right. Yeah, let's go ahead and quickly set one of those up. We should have enough experience by now. We should go ahead and start making a better Destroyer, um, some light attack. What I really want are torpedoes. Nope, not light guns, there we go, dupe. Anti-air won't do me much good. Hydrophones for sub detection, not a bad idea. Sonar, fire control, you have to have fire control, I think. We'll get hydrophones, we need speed. And more torpedoes, a bit risky. It increases the production cost by a lot, but I guess I'll take it. Yeah, I wouldn't mind having some sub-detection. We'll go ahead and do that, and we're gonna make you only one more, and then afterwards, let's go ahead and start manufacturing all of these. All right. I don't have a lot of faith in that Navy, if I'm honest. I really don't. So, we have finished training up my offensive units. It's gonna be a while before I can train up more defensive units. I don't have anywhere near enough guns, or motorized, or anything except for support equipment, ironically. Uh, that's said, we're making 100 guns per day. I do want to try making naval bombers if we have an opportunity. But I also desperately need motorized. Yeah, we just don't have enough factories. Full out. Um, I am building a couple more forts to try and make it easy, but we'll see. Call to arms from Britain. Against Persia. Persia? All right. What's Persia doing in all this? Hi, Persia. Did my friends, the Ottomans, win? Standing alone. So, I might be able to try to go for historical friendship and try to get them to join. That would swing things pretty heavily in my favor. I don't know which Ottoman Empire... I don't know which Ottoman Empire I technically would be friends with, though, because they're both the Ottoman Empire. Okay, so now the Germans are attacking me. They're attacking Luxembourg. Uh, we need to make sure that we are defending. We are defending that, okay. Uh, Flanders is under attack. 
We do finally have what I need to go ahead and attack these guys. And if I can find a way to knock Holland out of this, I might have a back door to get into Germany. And if I can push into Berlin, we might be able to get these guys to fall pretty quick. It's a very high risk, high reward play though, because I don't have much reason to believe it'll work. Uh, let's see, we do technically have some enemies here to deal with. The German Empire is in Africa. So let's go ahead and set up at least a handful there. How do I select this? Control right click. Yes, you guys, let's send a bunch of you down here. And Britain will help with all of this, of course, but I do think it would make sense to assign at least a handful to go and deal with Africa. And then once we've dealt with the rest of the German Empire's holdings in Africa, maybe I can pull these troops back even if they're not very good. There, are there any other holdings I should worry about elsewhere? No. Maybe, maybe down here in Indonesia, technically. Once I do attack the Dutch, but it's going to be a little bit. All right, I have no idea what's going to happen now with... Um, hi. I have no idea what's about to happen with uh, Switzerland. This will be interesting. So, I'm going to go ahead and try to go for some friendship with the Ottomans. And we'll see which empire ends up winning. Hopefully this one wins quickly and knocks these guys out just to, so there's only one left. In case something weird happens there. I've had a couple more naval battles. I've lost some subs. We've actually took out a pretty large... Well, I took say a pretty large. We took out some of their navy. Not a large chunk of the navy, but some of the navy. A few convoys here and there. We're doing some damage over here as well. Finding more convoys. Yeah, the more, more damage we can inflict, probably the better. Uh, Luxembourg obviously is not going to live for very long. So, Flanders, I am hoping you can hold out on this because my goal will be to do nothing but take out the Netherlands as fast as I can. Now, holding territory in the Alpines doesn't really excite me that much anymore. I thought I had way more airships than this, do I not? Well, regardless, we're going to send as much as we can up here into this region. All right, we now have a war goal to use against Switzerland. I'm not going to war against them right now. I just have the option if I find that I need to. I like options. Options are good. The Germans are trying to throw themselves against me, but they don't have a lot of supply, so they're taking a lot of losses over here. And my forts appear to be doing the job, which is great. We're trying to build even more levels of it. But we're not getting as far as I need to. Gimli is just being a little bit annoying, isn't he? Two more days and then we can go to war against Holland. What is this? Serbia is calling me in against everyone I'm already fighting except for Japan. Right, Japan is in on this, huh? Yeah, they joined the Central Powers. That means they're going to attack my holdings in Southeast Asia probably. And I'll be honest, there's not a lot I can do about it. It just is what it is. So, at this point, I think we go ahead and declare a war against you. And I need you to go hard. Oops. Hold up. And I need to call you in on the wars so that I have the ability to charge. Why are you not giving me military access? What? So... Okay, this doesn't make any sense. The Netherlands is not in on this war. There's two great wars. Not that. The Italian Reclamation... They're in on that one. What is going on here? Why can't I attack through the belt for, through Flanders? Excuse me? They should be in on this war. Right? Somehow they're not though. Somehow I can't Okay. Um call all Flanders 
is not in the war, but can be called into it. Well, yeah, and that's what I'm asking to do. Well, this complicates things by a lot. All right. Um. Cool. Okay. Uh, what we do then is we try for a very desperate attack, naval invasion, and pray that maybe, just maybe, I can manage to sneak attack a harbor. Because if I can, then we could just backdoor this and we'll be fine. But somehow, I'm just gonna go in on a limb here and guess that this ain't gonna work or something. I'm highly confused. This is obviously not how that's supposed to work. When you call in your allies to a war, you're supposed to have military access with which you can attack. But for some reason, it's not registering. I can go through Germany. I just can't attack the Netherlands because Flanders cannot be called in on a war against the Netherlands. Go figure. All right, well, we'll try to figure that out later. Thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If so, I would ask you to hit that like button, leave a comment, subscribe, hit that notify bell, and I will see you guys next time.